what's up guys and welcome back to the channel i hope you're having a wonderful day and since you clicked on the video i can only wonder that you're wondering how to hook on no prep and how you can go faster on no prep so a while back i did a video uh, about shock settings and whatnot so more that can help with those shock settings i put a link up here um, and a link down in the description below about what can help with those shock settings getting it to hook and bite better but what also can help that one important factor that i wasn't doing before is that something i'm going to do now and in this video i'm going to show you what you need to do if you want to hook and possibly win <clears throat> more no prep races so before we get into it, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that bell for notifications and please comment down below and let me know what you think about your thoughts on this video, if it's going to help or if it's not going to help. So let's get into it, right? Let's get into it. Not bad, bro. Not bad. Could have did a little bit better. But I think it came out pretty good. This one, a little bit better. We turn the amps back down. This one was, was good. See, so yeah, the top of that one is not that toasty. This one got a little toasty. Okay. But. As long as they hold, again, should be fine. Yeah. Now it comes the pass of we'll putting these on the support bar. Okay. So let's take a look at it. There we go. It ain't perfect, but you know, it'll hug it a little bit better. That way, I don't have that huge gap in between there. Okay, so I should be able to feel it. See what that's at. With that on there, it's about 75 degrees. All right, guys. So this is probably, ain't no if ands, or buts about it. It is dangerous. All right, you got a welding arc, and you got a fuel tank that's up here. So what I did, <laughs> I got like same thing we do, and I got some wet towels I put up there. Oh yeah, so start to look more no prep. 
Yep. And also, when I eventually get a chute, I'm, I'm gonna have to move this, right? Because my chute is gonna mount right here or somewhere right here. I'm probably gonna put weight up in here as well. All right, so this is gonna be my no prep car. My S10, it's gonna be my prep car. Okay. Both gonna be street though, probably, probably most likely. But yeah, so that is it. I just gotta put a few more on there. And <laughs> let her rip, take the chip. <laughs> We'll put the locks on there and lock it down. Should be good to go. All right. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for me. Uh, I still have to, a little bit more I needed to, need to do. I also put new carpet in the car. It might be kind of hard to tell. Uh, so I also put new carpet in the car. All right. Not bad. Not bad, okay. It's not perfect because I had to cut it up to put the cage in. All right, so it's turning back into, I mean, it always was a street car. The factory seats, got the factory carpet back in here. I just need a new dash, right? I even got new window switches. And yes, my windows still work. So let's turn it back, turn it back into a street car. I eventually might put exhaust back on it. Got my draggy, so. Let's hope we can do it. You know, uh, hopefully I can go five with no prep. I can do we'll see. All right, I'll take it easy. See you next time. Yeah, so I know I just made that video about how you can hook and possibly win on no prep. I'm not saying throw all that out the window. I'm just saying make sure you pay attention to the track service. Don't make a mistake out of it. Every racer should walk their surface. Yeah. I seriously overpowered that track. Still good information, <laughs> but make sure y'all follow the track service. All right, we'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe.